All right, we'd like to get started now with a basic demonstration of the javelin for beginners, as done in the teaching progressions of the uh, shot discus and javelin. The first and most important thing is the handhold of the javelin. A comfortable grip is the essence of high velocity out of the hand. And there are three acceptable uh, holes for the javelin. The first one, as demonstrated by my crew, will be the first two fingers of the hand as long as the javelin comes straight down the palm. So everybody, just try the first two fingers and hold it straight up, bring it over the head, get a feeling for that particular hole, okay? The second hold is with the second finger and the thumb, always watching to see if the javelin goes down the palm of the hand. Try that one. Up over the top, bring it back a little bit, feel the comfort of that, okay? The third acceptable hole is called the fork grip, where the javelin comes between these two fingers and it's wrapped rather tightly, and yet the has to come down the palm of the hand for most efficiency. Give that a shot now, the, the fork grip. Hold it straight up, okay, move it around a little bit. Become comfortable with your grip, because this is the, the essence of the throw for velocity is right here. Okay, how about getting yourself in front of each one of those red cones and I'll ask you to get comfortable with the, uh, with the jam, okay? And what I want you to do is go to the red cone, okay, and face this way, okay? Javelin's up, okay, javelin's up, okay? Bring the javelin back and walk straight ahead. Just feel the comfort of the javelin. Walk straight ahead, just relax, nice and easy. So I turn around and go directly back to the cone the cone and the javelin in order. Point to the javelin on the cone. Looking real good, real good. All right, turn the cone and come back. Feel the comfort of the hole. Switch your hand holes and find the one that you're most comfortable with. You're getting acquainted with your javelin. Okay, I want you to go now, bring the javelin back, walk to the first cone, stop, and snap the javelin in the ground. Nice and easy, everybody walks. Everybody gets to the cone. Nice and relaxed. Left arm is nice and relaxed. All right, stop and snap it into the ground. Good job, pick it up, let's do it one more time now. Let's hustle up. All right, bring it back. All the way back, we're gonna go to the cone one more time. You're finding your handhold now. You're finding your handhold. Javelin's up and back. Walk to the first cone. Here we go. Keep the point on the cone. Keep the point on the cone. Stop and snap it into the ground. Good job. Good job. All right, pick it up now. Here we go. We're getting acquainted here. We're getting acquainted. Jog back now. Come on now. Here we go. A lot of excitement here. A lot of excitement. All right. Javelin now is held back with your left hand. Grab the point of the javelin, okay? And let's walk. I'm setting up a little bit of a torque for you. Let's walk to that cone now, holding the point of the javelin. Ready? Walk. Good job, good job. Keep walking, turn around, and come on back and start walking a little bit faster now. Just get acquainted with the spear. Get acquainted with the spear. All right, excellent job. Now we're going to hold that javelin up again and back, and we're going to jog to the cone. And the, all I'm asking you to do is keep that javelin pointed at the cone. As you jog, make sure the javelin stays in its proper alignment. Left arm is high as you jog a little bit. Ready, javelin's up and back. Ready, jog. Good job, good job. Excellent, turn around and do it again. Make sure the hand hole is really nice and gripped well. Javelin's back and run. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. One more time now. Now put a little more speed on there just to test your hand hole. Javelins are high and flat. Ready, run. Good job, good job. All right, we'll take you right over here and we'll do our box drill to test to see if the javelin is in good order. All right, we'll start with Gerard at the top of the box. 
All right, give him a full length of the javelin. These are very slow. We're gonna do four repetitions. The first one is rather slow. The run, crossing the box, bringing it back with frontal steps, and then getting back on the line. All right, here we go, nice and slow. Just get in tune with your javelin. Get in tune with your javelin. Good, good. Very nice, very nice. Relax. Very nice. Make sure that javelin is in perfect order now. Good job, good job, good job. All right, our second run, we'll try to put a little bit more speed on it, but keep in mind, the javelin is nice and flat now. Let's go. Ready? Here they come. Good job. Excellent job. All right, keep it coming now. Keep it coming now. Looking good. Looking good. Good job. Just relax the back arm. Relax the back arm. All right, final test. You're getting acquainted with your javelin. We're getting acquainted with your javelin. Ready? Run. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. All right, now. We'll have to start the box over here this time. Now we'll test the handhold. We're going to take the box this way. Go front, across, down the box side, and then you're going to snap the javelin at the end of four or five snaps out into the ground just to get the feel of the handhold. All right, take your time. Ready? Go. All right, right after him. All right, just easy and snap it into the ground. Good. Be careful right behind you. Be careful right behind you. Walk away. Walk away. Here we go. Good job. Walk away. Walk away. Good job, walk away, walk away, excellent. All right, retrieve. Good job, fellas, here we go. Come on, a little hustle here. All right, let's put a straight line in front of the cones. Now let's get a straight line in front of the cones. Let's go into some basic stretching before we start utilizing the javelin throw. All right, let's form a straight line in front of those cones, facing this way. Put the javelins up on your back as high and wide as you can get them. Okay, side to side bends, try to stick it in if you can. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good job now. Pull the javelin out in front. Let's bring it over the top several times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, javelin is on your back. Doing torques now to develop your interior muscle. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and relax. Okay, let's put the javelin on the ground. Reach up with your right hand as high as you can. Put your left foot out, and let's work the top of your shoulder a little bit. That's good, that's good. Just stretch it out a little bit, work your legs, work your arms. All right, put the javelin out in front, hold high on the javelin. Let's drop your stomach down, let's do a stomach stretch. All right, ready? Relax, just let it happen, good job. All right, step in front of the javelin. Stick it in the ground, step in front, reach behind you, grab the top of the javelin, and take it down very slowly, very slowly. Good job. Take it down as low as you can go. Working your back and your legs. Good job. All right, let's take it to the top now. Let's get some, let's get some flexibility in the shoulders. Let's go alternately around the shoulders. Ready? Work the shoulders. Good job. Good job. Good. 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 Excellent. Keep going. All right. Okay. Let's leave the javelins right there and move to our other stretching apparatus. All right, let's get on the med balls a little bit. Let's do a quick set of med balls to get our shoulders nice and loose before we start throwing. Let's pair off two by two. Okay, you'll have to wait here and let these two go and then we'll all set you in. Let's go a set of three of everything. Let's go pushes for three. Ready? One, two, three. Overheads. One, Two, three, all right, underneath pushes for three. Ready? One, two, 
three. All right, knees and push. Here we go. One, two, three. Overheads and push. One, two, three. Sit and push. Here we go. Real quick now. Ready? Begin. One, two, three. Overheads and pull. One, two, three. Long range of dominoes. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. All right, back to back Rockies from the floor. All right, here we go. Good flexibility exercise. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Stand up halfway and let's do some more. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's go with a maximum. Figure eight. Let's get as much talk as possible. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Good job. All right, let's go with team one. You're down. Let's go with team one down. All right, let's feed them straps only. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, let's go with the other group. Straps only. All right, let's try for some speed this time. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, good job. Let's go with abdominals now. Let's go with group one with abdominals. Try to come up and really fire that thing. Here we go. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five. Group two to the abdominals. Here we go. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Good job. Okay, now we'll just spread apart a little bit. Spread apart a little bit. And now we'll simulate the javelin. Put your left foot out. Okay? Bring the medicine ball down behind your head and throw. All right, good. Swing it way back and throw. Swing it way back and throw. Good job. Bring it way back and throw. Bring it way back and throw. Bring it way back and throw. Back and throw. All right, let's go. Frontal feet, as far back as you can possibly go. Ready, pull. One, two, three, and four, and five. Okay. Let's take a hold. Let's take a hold of the Mark Fletcher. I right, bring him to the wall with the small ball. It will work fast hips off the wall. Okay. The ball is placed on the right hand side. The hips are hit very hard, and the ball is returned very quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Let's go with a laner with rapid fires off the floor as hard on the wall as possible. We're going to sit down on the floor. We're going to use overhead abdominal work on the bricks. You're sitting down. All right, we're doing what we usually do in the gym. As hard as you can go now. Ready to set a ten. Ready to begin. One. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, let's all pick up the med balls one more time. Okay, we're going to do a set of walk and talks. Okay, let's get, we have three people on the meds. Okay, let's get a med ball over there. Okay, let's go. Elena, you try. I don't think uh, Philly has done this yet. Okay, these are walk and talks. The ball is taken back, and you're walking there and back. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, and turn around. Here we go. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's a good job. All right, we're ready to go. We're nice and stretched out. Let's get the med balls off to the side, and let's get a hold of this javelin and play with it. All right, let's go into the power stance. Okay, let's go with Elena first. Okay, we'll go out and get the javelins in a few seconds. I need Elena first, Mark second, Billy third, Tim and the big man, uh, Gerard, in behind. Okay, you're facing me. All right, here we go. Everyone's standing up perfectly straight. We're teaching the power stance. Make sure your feet are under your shoulders, under your shoulders. Your arms go out in what is considered to be a high Y. Okay? Now, you're looking at the destination of throw, that way. Take your right foot and point it to the front of your look. All right? And sit down on your right leg. Good. Now, your arms should be very high in a high position. What we'd like to check out here is if you were wearing a pocket, your pocket should be over your right heel. 
your right pocket should be over your right heel. That looks good. Let's try it one more time. Let's do a set of three. All right? Make sure your feet are outside your shoulders. Ready? Facing me. High Y. Ready? Look to the throw. Point the right foot and sit. Pocket over heel. Right pocket over heel. Excellent. One more time. Ready? Palms high in the high Y. Look to the throw. Make sure your feet are as wide as your shoulders. Point the right foot. Sit. Pocket over right heel. All right, good job. Now stay there now, we'll do it a different way. All right? You're facing me. All right, you're facing me. Your both arms go up high. Bring your right foot back and sit on the right side. Check it again. Right pocket over right heel. One more time, ready? Stand up high. Bring your right foot back and sit on it. Pocket over heel, pocket over heel. Good job. Ready? One more time. Stand up, right foot back, sit on it, pocket over heel. You're looking good. All right. Our arms are always in the high wide position. Okay. Now, let's take the hammer that sits behind you there. Take the hammer. Okay, here we go. I want you to go into the stance. Visualizing the hammer, a little bit of weight in your hand. All right, ready? Hammer up, high wide position, sit, and relax. Let the hammer stay as far out as possible. Ready? Stand up again. Ready? High wide, bring the hammer back, sit, pocket over heel, and relax. Okay, there's a race going on between the lower body and the upper body, and the lower body must win. You must transfer the weight from your right leg to your left leg, as hard as you can, so that if you had a stripe on your right hip, I should see that hip turning vehemently to the left side. Let's do that with the hammer in your hand, and see if we can get the right side of your body transferring to the left side. Just let the hammer hang there for a while. All right, here we go. Ready? Hammer up. Sit. Ready? Hips. Good. Excellent. Ready? One more time now. Let's see if we can drop that right knee, turn the right heel so the hips are attacking the left side. Ready? Hammer up. Sit. Fire. Good job. Ready? Hammer up. Sit. Fire. Your left arm should be passive and long. All right, the next drill, pretend in front of you, I guess about eight or nine feet up, is a punching bag. I would like you to come, strike your hips, and step up and hit the punching bag with the hammer in slow motion. All right, ready? Sit, power. Hips and pull. Step up and hit the punching bag. Very nice. All right, let's get onto your left leg if you can. Remember, we're going from right to left onto a stiff left leg. Here we go. Sit. Hips and pull. Good. Step up and hit the punching bag. Ready? One more time. Ready? Sit. Step up and hit the punching bag. Hips are hard to your left leg. Hips are hard into your left leg. All right, one more time, we'll do it. Let's make a minimal stoppage in the middle now. Hips and pull, hips and pull. Hammers up, ready, sit. Hips and pull, good job. All right, hammers down, hammers down. Let's go to the surgical tubing now. All right, let's go with Parkin. All right, Elena and DeMarc. And let's go with um, Timmy and uh, Duran. Okay, and I'm going to hold for Roberts. All right, here we go. I want the same thing to happen now. Put the javelin in your right hand, which is your surgical tube. The fellas here in the front are the throwers. We're the holders. Okay, I'm going to tell you to sit and pull. Now, since we're in a high wide position, the holders should make sure they hold high in the surgical tubing. Let's get two pulls and then we'll switch around. Ready? Javelins up, sit, and pull. Good job. Remember, you're going to your left leg. Ready? Javelins up, sit, and pull. 
Good job. Ready? Javelins up. Sit and pull. All right. Let's alternate now. Let's go the other way. All right. We'll just pull for this one. Let's go with Elena and Jerron. Ready? Javelins up in the high wide position. Ready? Sit and pull. Good job. Ready? Javelins in the high wide position. Sit and pull. Good job. Good job. One more time. High wide position. Sit and pull. All right. Let's switch around again now. Next drill. It's called the anticipation drill. In this drill, we're going to sit, anticipate, lift the left leg, and run to it when I say pull. All right? I'll hold you there for a tenth of the count. Ready? Sit, anticipate, and pull. Go to your left leg. Ready? Sit, anticipate, and pull. Good job. Step up onto your left leg. Ready? Sit, anticipate, and pull. One more time. You got it now. Ready? Sit, anticipate, and pull. All right. We'll switch. Let's get the other group in there now. Other group goes. Ready? Good job now. Good job. Sit, anticipate, and pull. Good. Ready? Sit, anticipate, and pull. All right. One more. Ready? Sit, anticipate, and pull. Good job. Now, let's get the other group up. Let's put the other drill in. All right. In this drill, we're going to make sure the left side of the body comes to a complete stop so that the right side of the body can get very, very fast. We call this blocking. Blocking is done by the left arm coming back to the left shoulder as vehemently as possible so that it's like running into a stone wall with the left side of your body, allowing the right side of your body to continue forward. So on these three surgical pulls, it'll be sit, anticipate, and fire. Let's see you hold your left side and fire out over your right-hand side. All right, here we go. Ready. Javelin's up in the high wide position. Sit, anticipate, fire, block. Good. Ready. Here we go. Ready? Sit. Anticipate. Fire. Block. Here you go. One more time now. One more gun. Here we go. Sit. Anticipate. Fire. Block. All right. Let's switch off now. Let's get the other two up. Ready? Sit. Anticipate. Fire. Block. Good, Elena. Good. Come on, Gerard. Sit. Anticipate. Fire, block. Good job. All right. Now, let's take it one step further. We call this the springboard technique. All right, let's get the first group up there. And what we're going to do is put your left foot, okay, onto the cement block. And what I'd like you to do is hold the, the tubing, springboard up off the, the uh, cement block, and land in the power position. Hold it, and then we'll say pull it. I'll wait until you find the power position. All right, springboard technique. Left foot on the platform. Ready, fire. Stay there, and pull. Good job, one more time. Try to be stable, try to be stable. Ready, springboard technique. Ready, fire. Hold it, pull. Good job. One more time now. One more time. Make it quick now. Make it quick. Ready? Sit. Fire. And pull. Good job. All right, let's get another group up. Ready? Stay there. Ready? Sit. Fire. Pull. Good. Ready? Sit. Fire. Pull. Good job. Try to step up onto your left leg. Ready, sit, fire, and pull. Good. All right. Now, what I'd like each person to do right now is to get in front of one of those bricks all by yourself. Pick up a knocking ball. Okay? And what we're going to do here is give you the opportunity to simulate a pulling throw. Okay? You're going to put your left foot on the block. Okay, Gerard, you're without block. Pretend you have one. Put your left foot on the block. Springboard technique. 
release. Okay, jog after your ball. Don't throw too far, so the run as far. Ready, sit, fire, pull. Good job, good job. Little jog there, little jog. Here we go. You got one more shot at this one. One more shot. You're looking great. All right, here we go. Ready? Sit. Fire. Pull. Good job. All right, let him stay there. Let him stay there. Grab your javelins down. Grab your javelins. All right, let's go to the cement block with the javelins now and see if you can handle the alignment of the springboard technique. I want you to come off that thing and land in a beautiful power position. Okay, no throw. We got three power pulls coming up later on. Right now, I want to see if you can land in the power position with the javelin perfectly aligned. Remember, the javelin is in the high wide position. All right, your foot is on the cement block. Sit. Ready? Power! Stay. Check it out. All right? Pocket over heel. Pocket over heel. Left toe, right heel relationship. Good job. Bring it back. Let's do a set of five. All right, here we go. Ready? Fire! Check it. Good job. Pocket over heel. Pocket over heel. Good job. Extend your left arm, ready to pull it back to the throw. Number three, number three. Three or five. Ready? Ready? Five. Check it. Pocket over heel, pocket over heel. Looking good. Number four, coming up. Try to get a little bit more aggressive now, a little bit more aggressive. All right, here we go. Ready? Five. Woo! Looking good. All right, number five, coming up. Number five. Pocket over heel. All right, now, in your sixth one, you'll come to a position of power, and then you'll throw real easy, just to get a nice feeling of pull. All right, here we go. Give you a tenth of a second. Ready? Javelin's back. Relax. Ready? Fire. Pull. Good job. Good job. Let's jog out. We got one more to go. One more to go. Okay, here we go. Final, off the cement block. We're gonna do a great job now. We're gonna give you a tenth of a second in the power position and throw. Sit. High wide. Power. Pull. Good job. Good job. All right, we're moving to the hill. All right. Okay, I'd like to now utilize the hill to develop two aspects of the throw. One, I want to work on quickness into the plant position. Two, I want to work on blocking the left side. And to do that, we devise this little target drill so that the athletes would take four or five or maybe even ten at a practice session to see how many they would score in the box. In order to score, the athlete must look into the box which will develop an opportunity to the athlete to naturally block the left side of his body. All right, so in drill number one, I want to work on some speed. So in your place, I want you to run as quickly as possible, and then I will yell out plant, and I want you to get into the plant position. Let's do a set of three. Javelins up, and ready, run. Plant. Good. Try to, when you hit the plant, try to get it very quick, and try to get the javelins flat. All right, ready. Run. Plant. Good job. Ready. Javelins up. Run. Plant. Good. All right. Now, the next drill will be power throw. That'll be your one step. Pretend you're on the cement block. Power. That means the one quick cross step off the cement block. Plant. Stare at the target and fire in. Try to translate your right side 
Make sure your hips are firing. Let me demonstrate a hip for you with Mark. When the hips fire, get into a power plant. When the hips fire, fire hip, the heel will turn dramatically so that when he actually throws, he will drag on the laces of his right foot. You'll see the laces dragging. The object, he's going to try to get onto that left leg as fast as possible. All right, let's try to score some points. Five tries to get your best score. After you throw, retrieve, and come back. I'll say ready, and then power throw. Ready, power throw. Good job, up and down now. Where? All right, let's do it again now. Let's give you five shots to beat the couples here. Get into a great power plant. One big exchange step and fire. Ready, sit, fire. Good targets now. Come on, Elena. Come on, Elena. Here we go. Fletcher's got one. Fletcher's got one. All right, let's go. Three to go. We want some hits. Stare at that target and block the left side. Block that left side. Ready, sit, fire. Good one for Gerard and Tim. All right, we got three in there. We need a perfect score now. We need a perfect score. I want all five people scoring. All right, here we go. We need a lady to score a point here. All right, ready, sit, fire. Woo! Almost a foursome. All right, one to go now, one to go. All right, one to go. Ready? Fire! Good job, good job. All right, now we're just going to add one more drill, and then we'll go to our next move. Now, instead of just one step, we're going to go right, left, exchange, plan, throw. We're going to go right, left, exchange, plan, throw. So move back a little bit. The first couple will be slow, and then we'll get a little faster. We're going to go javelins up and back. Good. It'll be, we'll walk this one through. Let's walk this one through. Right, left, exchange, plant, throw. All right. All right, let's grab it up. We're ready to go. Right, left, exchange, plant, throw. Right, left, exchange, plant, throw. Let's go. Javelins up and back. Ready, begin. Right, left, exchange, plant, throw. All right, looks like we had two in there. Let's get some people a hit. Ready? Javelins up and back. Ready, begin. Right, left, exchange, plan, throw. Yes! Woo! Looking good. Two to go now. Two to go. Let's get a perfect score now. Perfect score. Come on in. Let's go. Perfect score. I want everyone in that hoop. Ready, begin. Right, left, exchange, plan, throw. Looking good. Almost. One more. One more will do it. Final opportunity for a perfect score. Javelins back and ready. Right, left, exchange, plant, throw. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's bring it over to the box. Grab those javelins. All right, we want to introduce one of our uh, last drills before we put in our little runway to throw the javelin. What you got to do is find a little runway at your high school, a little ramp, which we found here at the high school. What I'd like you to do is come up the ramp in a fast walk position, targeting the stop sign up there. Put your javelin right on that stop sign so if the implement is aligned, your left arm is long and extended, and you're going to be doing front cross steps up the hill to the top of the uh, stop sign look here. So that you would come up the knees this side, turn the body, and come downhill to allow some speed to take place. All right, let's do at least one set each. All right, ready, move. So we're separating yourself from the javelin. The javelin is being run away from, and now she comes downhill, experiencing just some speed and good technique holding the javelin. All right, next. 
That's good. Now, bring it back. Good alignment. Let it happen. Ready? All right, Mark. Uphill. Focus that stop sign. Good job. Good job. Turn it around. Bring it down. Go ahead, Willie. Ready? Go. Good. Now, bring it back. Just let the javelin happen. All right. Good job. Ready? Go. Good. Now, let it happen. Get away from the javelin. Get away from the javelin. All right, now let's go uphill with a few steps to experience the runaway look. Let's come to the top of the ramp. All right, Tim, you join Elena. Okay, what we're going to do is javelins are back. Okay, we're going to go right, left, exchange, plant, hold. Going uphill now. Ready, begin. Right, left, exchange, plant, hold. Good job. Ready, next two. Let's go with three. Let's go with three. Ready, begin. Right, left, exchange, plant, hold. So the hill tends to bring you back to remind you to separate yourself from you and the jab. High wide. All right, next group. Let's do a set of three. Ready? Javelin's up. Ready, begin. Right, left, exchange, plant, hold. Good job. Good job. Ready? Begin. Right, left, exchange, plant, hold. All right, final set. All right, here we go. Really explode out there. Really explode. Ready? Begin. Right, left, exchange, plant. Good job. Ready? Javelin's up and back. Focus the target. Ready? Begin. Right, left, exchange, plant, hold. Good job. All right, let's take it to the field now. Let's take it to the field. Okay, we'd like to now put in the runway, which is the, the most exciting thing for a javelin. A javelin is nothing more than a throw at the end of a run. And javelin throwers come in all sizes, so this could be a very exciting event. But as every good teacher knows, it's always good to go from the known to the unknown. Most of our American youngsters have thrown a baseball, so when setting up the runway, I set up a, a, a few cones with a ball, or in this case, a light knocking ball, I'm going to ask the athlete to come down to the first cone in a mild jog, come to the knocking ball, pick it up, extend the ball back, and then take five steps if he can, a right, a left, a cross step, a plant, and a throw. This would simulate a center fielder coming in, picking up the baseball, and throwing it into home plate. This makes the, the runway very, very realistic to the average American athlete. All right, Mark, want to give it a shot? All right, he's going to come down the runway real easy. He's going to pick up the ball, keep it going, and he's going to throw. All right, nice and easy now. Our next athlete will be Elena. Okay, I'll just put a ball out in front of you. All right, she's going to come nice and easy down the runway. Reach down, grab the ball, keep it going, and she's going to pull. Good job. All right, Tim O'Leary. All right, let me put the ball out in the front. All right, come down that runway nice and easy. Take that ball, bring it back, and pull. Good job, good job. All right, nice and easy. Gerard, here we go. Comes down the runway, picks the ball up, and pull. Good job, good job. All right, Willie, here you go. Ready? Down the runway, picks the ball up, and throws. Good job, good job. All right, bring it in. Okay, gentlemen, you're ready. You're ready to get on this runway now. Here we go. All right, on the runway, single file. We'll start with Elena, Mark to follow. We need a javelin now. Here we go. Everybody's on. This is a walk drill. Okay. Top of the runway. The javelin is held above the shoulder. I'd like to stress a slightly negative point. When she comes to the first cone, I'm going to ask her to withdraw the javelin without stopping, keeping the javelin nice and flat as she comes along. When she gets to the second cone, she begins to prepare to throw, so she will take that right-left exchange plant and hold the plant. As soon as you finish your plant, get off and come back. Each person will do it twice from a fast walk. All right, ready? Walk. First cone. Withdrawing phase. Good job. Second cone. Right, left exchange, plant. Good. Here we go. No throw yet. Here we go. Down the runway. 
withdraw the first count. Run away from it and right, left, exchange, plant. Good job, Fletcher, good job. Here comes Timmy. Goes to that first cone, withdraw, good. And he counts, right, left, exchange, plant. He's ready. Here comes Gerard. Good job, good job, brings it back. Brings it back. And right, left, exchange, plant. Good job. Here we go. First cone, brings it back. Here he comes, right, left, exchange, plant. Good. A little more speed now, there. just a little bit more. Ready? Doom, doom. Here we go. And nice. Left arm is nice and long, and good job. Here we go, Mark. Here we go. Down the runway. Withdraw the first cone. Good. Right, left, exchange, plant. Good. Here comes Tim. Here we go. Nice and easy. Right, good. Here we go. Get used to withdrawing and accelerating. Here we go. Good. Woo! Here we go. Good job, good job. Here we go. One more time now. We can start jogging now. Withdraw. Keep coming. Right, left, exchange, plant. Go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Looks good. Looks good. Here we go now. Build the tempo. Build the tempo. Build that tempo. Good. Here we go. First drill. Withdraw. All right, all right. Let's go. Here we go. Come on now. Good. One more time now. Last one now. A little bit more speed. A little bit more speed. Try to accelerate in the last part of the throw. Here we go. Last part of the throw and accelerate. Here we go. Come on, Timbo. Come on now. Here we go. Way back and boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Come on now. Withdraw and accelerate. Good. Here we go. Good. Good job. All right. Let's hold it up right there. Now, as you can imagine, the runways will vary in length depending on the speed of the athlete. But basically, the runway is made up of a run, a withdrawal, and an explosive finish. Now, I'd like to end by developing an explosive finish. All right, the explosive finish is how fast can you go right, left, throw? Right, left, throw. That's the most important thing. To develop that, I'll ask the athletes to come over here in one straight line in the box drill with your javelins. Atlanta first, Mark second, everyone facing me. We're going that way. And all we're going to do is explode fast runs. All right, you're going to run six yards as fast as you can and see if the last two steps can be very fast. It's going to be run, all right, as fast as you can. All front runs until that last step is going to be right left, right left, as fast as you can go, all right? You have the width of the box to accomplish that. You might want to take four or five fast runs, but then finish right near the end of the box in right left. We'll do this three times. Jab was back. We call this power run. Left arm is extended in the stretch position. Thumbs down. Ready, run. And fast feet. Good. All right, stay there and come back. Top of the box. So stay there, draw, stay there. Ready, javelin's back, and run. Hit the fast foot, boom, boom. All right, one more will do it. One more will do it. All right. Here we go. Javelin's back, ready, run. Good job. All right, let's go to the runway now. Let's go to the runway. Push the javelin. Let's end off with one throw. We're not wearing any spikes, so throw real easy. I just want you to get a nice feeling of the pull of the jab. But we'll start off with the later first, and we'll end off with Mark. We'll put Robbins after Elena, Timmy, Sesser, and Mark. All right, what I would like you to do is come down at about 50% speed, plant throw. All right, Elena's up. Ready, run. Good job, good job. Go easy on the plant. It's a little bit wet. Go easy on the plant. Here we go, Robbie. Down the runway with the drawers. And pull. Good job. Good job. All right. Here we go, Timmy. Nice and relaxed now. Here we go. Down the runway with the draw. Fast feet and pull. Good job. Try to get over your left leg, Gerard. Here we go. Down the runway with the draw. Fast feet and pull. Good job. 
He withdraws. Right, let's exchange plans. Bro, good job, Mark, good job. All right, that concludes our video today on the Javelin. Wish you the best of luck in whatever you might be able to do with your youngsters. All right, let's go, let's put it away.